In this video, we will look at a more interesting problem with variation. Sometimes with variation problems, we aren't just multiplying or dividing the variables given to us, but as something is... we are asked to do something with the variables as we consider that proportionality. In this problem, we are told that the area of a circle is directly proportional to the square of the radius. For example, a circle with a radius of 10 has an area of 314. We want to know what will the area be on a circle of radius 4. Our first step is to identify the type of variation. Directly proportional means we're going to divide the two variables. Here, we're comparing the area, which we could call A, but the second part says not just the radius, but the square of the radius, which means we don't just do A divided by R, but we need to do A divided by R squared. The square of the radius, meaning we have to square that variable in our formula. A divided by R squared, direct means we divide to equal our constant. From here, everything else can work the same as we've always seen. We know the circle with a radius of 10, so we'll replace the R with 10, squared, has an area of 314. Order of operations asks us to do the exponent first, 314 over 100, which when we divide, we get 3.14 for our constant of variation. It seems to make sense that the constant of variation for a circle would be pi. This, in fact, is where we get pi from. Now we're ready to answer the question, going back to the original problem. We want to know the area when the radius is 4. Area divided by the radius squared, or 4 squared, equals our constant, 3.14. We can simplify that 4 squared to get us started, which is 16, to equal 3.14. Clearly, the least common denominator we need to clear that s denominator is 16, and so we'll multiply both sides by 16, isolating the area, which is what we're looking for, equals 3.14 times 16, or 50.24. The area of the circle is 50.24 units. If we're aware of a description of the variable, the square of the radius, the square root of the radius, the cube of the radius, or whatever is described, we can make a slight adjustment to our formula and solve it like any other variation problem.